You okay? Legs busted up, but I'll make it. The gig went bad, huh? Yeah, we got the smart bombs in place. Three of them linked by shortwave. Izanagi jumped us before we could activate him. I'm the only guy left. It'd be a shame to leave the job half done. I don't know, Marshal. They'll blow five minutes after all three are armed. Wouldn't leave you much time to get out. No worries, I could use a good sprint. You head back to the dropship, the bond will ferry you up. My EMP grenades are in that cache right there. Take them. I think my buddy had a sniper rifle. Good luck.
Can you tell me where it is? You're on your own, pal. I ain't telling you squat.
The problem isn't over here. It wouldn't be there. If anything, it'd be in the power relay panel. Ah. What the hell was that? Sea goat. Must have picked it up when we lifted those marines from Sanctuary. That's the only place they grow, little bastards. Can you fix it? No, we gotta land. Damn. Nabon, pick out a safe haven and brief the marshal. Why is Ida so much not liking Isaac? Years ago, Isaac and Ida served on a Terran capital ship together. He was the launch officer. During a fight with the Scar, the ship took a series of hits. He was wounded, got trapped in his compartment, and he panicked. That is not so unusual. The fighter crew was getting ready to launch. He opened the airlock too soon and they were sucked into space. After that, he just curled up on the floor. They had to break in to launch the other fighters. And Ida cannot forgive him for this? She calls it dereliction of duty. They beat off the scar, but her friends were dead. And Isaac never recovered. He got a medical discharge and dived right into a bottle. Now he's back trying to prove himself. And he doesn't know if he has what it takes. to be giving you briefing. Are you ready? Probably more ready than you. The sea goat has damaged our inertial control systems. We are forced to land on the planet Calidon for repairs. It has a breathable atmosphere, not much water, and a limited biosphere. Oh, dears. To be continuation. Military Outpost Kilo 57 serves mostly as a repair and supply depot for ships cruising through this otherwise uninhabited part of space. Cow patties. We will set down behind a shield wall but the Leandri Angel Mercs will soon know we are there, and they are sure to attack us. Intercourse. It will be up to you to hold them off long enough for Isaac to fix the ship. He is waiting for you now in the weapons bay. Sorry, 
Captain. I am occupied territory. Perhaps some other time? What's on your mind? Where the hell did that thing come from? Sea goat. Must have picked it up when we lifted those marines from Sanctuary. That's the only place they grow, little bastards. So what do you think? Lost Ancient Glories or Pandora's Box? Are you kidding? They gotta be dangerous. Why else would someone put glyphs on them and scatter them all over the galaxy? I bet when they break the code it says, run like hell! You here for your loadout? What's in your bag of tricks? Let me see. Lots of new toys this time. Request shield wall deactivation. Roger. Shield wall down. Activating shield wall. Check this out. Our marine friends hooked us up with these. Deployable plasma field generators. Just like your weapons, primary fire puts one in place, and if there's another nearby, they'll link up to form a wall. When they all fire to put down the last one in a chain, your use reticule will show how much damage it's taking. You can use a wall to walk through it, but if you use a field generator, you'll pick it up. Picking up a damaged field generator doesn't repair it. When you place it somewhere else, it'll still have the same damage. If you're carrying more than one, the least damaged one will always get put in place first. Turrets work pretty much the same. Keep in mind they've got a limited cone of vision. Primary fire places and activates the turret. The use reticule will tell you if it's taken any damage. Using a turret picks it up, and it'll hold its damage just like the field generators. These things are smart. They know friend from foe, so they won't fire on you or your allies. The entry scout drone won't be long now. We called in another drone, but they overshot, so there's a cache out there somewhere. You gotta find it and set up some defenses. Hold off the mercs long enough for me to fix this shit. If any of them make it through that door, we're toast.
Can you guys hurry it up in there? Isaac, huh? how much longer? Hand me that wrench. Huh? I am happy to be of assistance. Don't touch that! Huh? Marshal, we need more time. No sweat. Huh? Huh? More Leandri.
almost done. Just give us a few more minutes. I'm fighting as fast as I can. Here, Isaac. Let me help you. Push that button. No, not that one. More visitors. Jesus, did you send out invitations? I'm on it. Glad you're back in business, John. How's the ship? Good as new. I hope so. We've discovered a secret Izanagi facility on Sulphuron. Intercept show they've developed a new analytical tool that helps them find these artifacts. We need to go in and get it. Another artifact hunt? Not this time. It's the information we're after. Go down there, acquire the data, and bring it back. Take care, John. You're the best we've got.
school. I'm still picking up heat signatures. Good job. Now we need to get the data you came for. I've called in a technician to see if we can get anything useful out of that terminal. The Marines with him will take orders from you. Deploy your troops, and keep that tech alive long enough to get the data. Marine. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Okay, I'll guard the control room. You. Yes, sir. Control room, secure. Guard the front door. Front door, got it. Marine. Yes, sir. Watch the back door. Back door, check. You. Yes, sir. Patrol the front wall. Front door secure. Okay, I'll patrol the wall. Done yet? Will you shut up already? Back door secure. Front wall secure. Back door secure! 
John. More Marines are on the way to secure the base. Time for you to get out of there. Back door secure. Extruding myself in your cabin. Sukenaban, what can I do for you? I still do not understand why the hero of the Strider Wars is serving on this ship. You got a minute? I'll tell you. Ida was a child prodigy, a strategic genius. She was an international 3D chess master by the age of 10, and drafted by the Terran military before she was out of braces. About 10 years ago, at the height of the Strider Wars. Things were going badly for us. We were outnumbered and outgunned. It seemed only a matter of time before we'd be wiped out. Ida turned it all around. On an out-of-the-way planet called Tycho, she created a sort of electronic Potemkin village, a massive underground complex of transmitters and antennas. She made it seem as if the Terran military had concentrated their headquarters and most of their forces there. The Striders went for it. They landed in full force, right above the transmitters. Our ships had been hiding behind Tycho's moon. They came out and nuked the planet into oblivion. It was a brilliant victory. Yeah, but it had a price. Tycho had hundreds of Terran colonists, innocents who couldn't be warned of Ida's plan. When she activated the transmitters, she signed their death warrants. But... Because they died, millions lived. She knows that. She made the choice. But she's never forgiven herself. As she grew older, she rebelled. She thinks the military made her a monster, and now she doesn't trust them or anyone else. You should tell her to trust you. It doesn't quite work that way. Many pardons, but could we talk later? Huh? I scrounged some concussion grenades for you, and I finally figured out what to do with that arachnid biomass you found back on Hell. Turned out to be a hell of a weapon. You gotta check it out. Take your pick. You made a gun that shoots spiders? Oh, I had me some fun with this one. Turns out the arachnids you ran into on Hell have a really durable biomass. I loaded some into this ejaculator tube. Primary fire spits out a sack that'll spawn a bunch of little arachnids on your target. With alt fire, the sack will grow until it splits and a big sucker pops out and goes on the attack. Anything else? Yeah. 
See you later. Ready for the briefing? Let's do it. Both the Izanagi and Leandri have learned the location of our secret research lab on Janus. The Ghost Warriors are already on the ground and the Angels aren't far behind. Our top expert on the artifacts works at the lab. His name is Dr. Meyer. He's got two artifacts down there and he's in charge of the entire facility. Polaris is a huge base set on top of a cliff. It houses hundreds of scientists and vast quantities of equipment. It's one of the largest human-built installations in the sector. Most of the scientists have already gotten out, but Meyer is still in there. The terrain surrounding the facility is pretty bleak. Janus is a cold planet 6,000 miles in diameter, orbiting the weak K-type star Asgar. The only surviving species are hardy plants and animals that have adapted to the frozen landscape. Your mission is to recover both artifacts and make sure the mercs don't capture Dr. Meyer. The landing pad is here. The main entrance isn't far away, but you have to go over a bridge to get there. The Izanagi are already holding the bridge, so it's sure to be heavily fortified. Watch out, especially for snipers and turrets. Good luck, John.
What's going on here? An hour ago, a squad of mercs came through, armed to the teeth. They're after the artifacts. Dr. Meyer is the only one who knows how to get at them. Can't help him if they find where he's hiding. You need any help? No, I'll just stay right here. Is there anything I need to know to get around in there? When all this started, I hit the emergency locks on the umbilical doors. But I'll open them up for you. John Dalton, Terran huh? Colonial Authority. Are you one of them? No, I'm from the government. I'm here to help. Where are the artifacts? I can get them for you. But you've got to get me out of here alive. Deal. Get going. I'll watch your back. Huh? It's me, Meyer. Hey, open up! He's been all over the artifacts ever since we got them. He doesn't let them out of his sight. Come on, open the door! Open the goddamn door! Maybe if you showed him a little respect. What? He's just a Kai. Okay! Please? Here they are. No, wait. I need insurance. Yeah. Get me out of here, then I'll turn them over. 
Fine, you hold on to them. Let's head back to my ship. Stay here. It's the safest place for you. Huh? I'll send the Marines to the area. Call me. Ida? Ida! They're jamming the transmission. We gotta get up to the roof. Follow me. I can handle this. any faster. Ah! Maybe if you didn't miss so often, you'd have more ammo. Follow me. Damn! The door's jammed. We've got to get outside. How about a little serving and protecting over here? to make such a mess. We've got to get outside. What's that going to buy us? There's a maintenance rig over on the other side. It'll take us up to the roof. Are you coming along? Are you nuts? I'm too valuable to risk out there. Clear the way, soldier boy. Call me when it's safe. How can we stay in touch? I'll talk to you on my headset. I've got a local net they can't jam. Keep your shirt on. No! No! Ah! Are you there yet? You want to come out here and help?
So? What took you so long? Just shut up. Let's go. We've got a transmitter that's so old, they probably don't know how to jam. If I can get it running, we've got a chance. I'll show you where it is. I was right. It's all here. I can make it work, but as soon as it powers up, they're gonna know we're here. I'll need more time after that to tune it. How about we set up a defensive perimeter and then give you the word? That'll work. Let me know when you're ready. Control the left wall. Roger that. You. Yes, sir. Patrol the right wall. Roger that. Driver secure. Perimeter secure. Marine. Yes, sir. Guard the control room. Sir. Yes, sir.
Ready yet? We're all set. Let her in. Okay, huh. here goes. right off this rooftop. We're set, but you gotta raise the antenna. It's near marker four.
Guard the left wall. Huh? You've got it! <gasps> In here, get out there and fight. Guard the perimeter. I got the perimeter.
You done yet? I could have built a damn radio by now. I doubt that. They don't have instructions written in. Moron. Step out here and say that. No time. Besides, you're gonna have more company. Mark's on the way. Clear. Get us out of here. On the way. Orders from Drexler say to terminate all surviving non-military personnel. Who, Meyer? I'm not leaving him behind. Your orders are clear. He knows too much to fall into enemy hands. Breaking up again, Ida. Can't hear you. Ida! Here's the deal. Give me the artifacts, I get you to safe transport. Otherwise, I leave you here with a few good men. Take your damn artifacts. Just get me out of here. Things are heating up, John. Tell me about it. Our researchers have been trying to decipher the glyphs on the artifacts. They speculate that if all the artifacts are combined, they'll form a weapon of unimaginable power. We cannot allow them to fall into the wrong hands. We've got five of them. Do we know where the other two are? The data you got on Sulfuron revealed they have a unique energy signature. We scanned for other occurrences and were able to pinpoint their locations. The Izanagi Corporation is a major installation and dig site on Nakoja Abad. They've found an artifact, but they haven't removed it yet. I've uploaded a holograph of their base for you to look at when we're done. So that's my next stop. Do whatever it takes. And now for the good news. Because of your outstanding performance, General Drexler has not only agreed to a permanent reinstatement in the Marines, but it comes with a promotion to Colonel. Congratulations, John. I'll be sorry to lose you, 
but I'm glad to see things work out the way you want. Something's not right about this, John. 